Reading Pioneers is proud to present Fireflies by Carolyn Watson Dubish. It was two summers ago when I was nine and my sister Caitlin was six. Our family boarded the last ferry of the day that midsummer evening. We were going to visit our great aunt Lily on the island of Nova Scotia. Boat horns echoed across the water as the sun set over the harbor. While we sat in the cabin, Caitlin couldn't stop bouncing around. She had brought her bug collecting jar and couldn't stop talking about all the ladybugs we'd caught back on the pier in Portland. Caitlin never keeps her bugs for very long. She just collects them, peers at them with her magnifying glass, and then a few hours later releases them. Caitlin, Mama said, maybe you and Cassidy should go up top and let the ladybugs go. So carefully, we climbed the stairs to the upper deck. When we burst through the door, the wind was so strong, we nearly fell over. Cassidy, let's release them over there. So we walked across the boat towards the bow, near a curious seagull. As Caitlin turned the lid of the jar, the wind suddenly stopped, and a fog rolled in across the water. The seagull gave us an angry squawk. Then it flew off into the night. Caitlin gently coaxed them out of the jar. I remember hearing a faint tinkling of bells as I watched the ladybugs disappear into the fog. That's when I saw them. Tiny yellow lights zipping all around us. Fireflies! Caitlin whispered in hushed excitement. She cupped her hands around one and pushed it into her jar. I caught one as it flitted past my ear and carefully brought it over to Caitlin. They moved like lightning and changed direction abruptly, which made them difficult to catch. After 10 minutes or so, we grew tired and only managed to catch four or five. I was making one final attempt at one near the benches when I heard Caitlin gasp. What is it? I asked, rushing over to her. Caitlin was looking through her magnifying glass, looking very pale. I can't, she whispered and pushed the jar towards me. I looked at Caitlin with my eyes wide. Let them go! Of course, she said. With trembling hands, she quickly unscrewed the lid. Five yellow lights flew up into the mist, and a ring of bells filled the air. Pink flower petals rained down and covered the deck of the boat. Silently, we collected handfuls of the petals and put them in the jar. Caitlin and I never spoke of the fairies after that night. Caitlin never collected bugs again. The jar of petals grew dust on her bookshelf. The petals never dried up or changed color. They stayed just as they were that night on the boat. One day, I took the jar down and opened it up. Bells started ringing like wind chimes in a summer storm. Quickly, I screwed the lid back on. The end. Fun facts about water fairies. Water fairies don't grant wishes. Water fairies are vegetarians. Some water fairies are boys and some are girls. Water fairies can save you from drowning with just a kiss. 
they can also make you drown. Don't mess with water fairies. Thank you, pioneers, for reading along with us today to the story Fireflies by Carolyn Watson Dubish. I love reading this story as the magic and excitement of writing fairies and the night sky has always fascinated me. Who knows, maybe water fairies are real. If you want to get your hands on this story, visit Carolyn's Amazon links in the description box below, and you may even see some of her other stories that interest you too. I'd also like it if you click the thumbs up button to support the channel, and then comment below what you thought about the book and if you believe in fairies. Sharing the video would also be appreciated as well with your friends and family. If you would like to get your book read on this channel, please send me an email, contact at readingpioneers.com, and hopefully we can turn your book into a read aloud. It would also be awesome to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay updated with future uploads by Reading Pioneers. While waiting for the next upload, you can check out the playlist on the left of other videos by rising authors, and on the right is my own short story called Sharkfin Boy. This is it for today's video, so thanks again everyone for reading with us, and until next time, I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye.